Okay, I must have uh, moved all my um, berry axe out because this is the only one I could find around. Here's my super duper high voltage power supply that I use for driving my tritium uh, tube. And uh, we'll see if we can make neutrons. So we have our new uh, bubble detectors here. Okay, now let's see, is this the right one? I think I was using the other one. Okay, so here's our bubble detector. And uh, you're supposed to keep them capped off to hold the pressure in. Okay, there we go. And let me see if this is the right one. Okay, this is a more sensitive one. One is slightly more sensitive than the other one. Okay, so I'm going to actually set this down here for a second. And we will get the turn up the variac a little bit. Okay. And we will get the tube going. Okay. And so you can see the tube lighting up. And I just have it modulating so I'm not putting full power through it continuously. And let's let's get our uh, bubble detector set up. Remember you gotta, you know, let's, gotta unscrew the uh, gotta unscrew the back part here. Like so. And uh, the dose time that they use to uh, determine uh, you know, how many neutrons you're getting is 24 hours. So these are calibrated for 24 hours. So let me take this. I'm going to be careful here because I don't want to get shocked. Let's get that as close as possible. Okay, so there we have our neutron bubble detector right next to our tritium uh, fusion generator hopefully we'll let that run for 24 hours and uh, we'll see if we produce any neutrons fast neutrons in the detector I definitely smell an ozone and like I said this is uh, using racing car ignition coils I use an Arduino to drive this power supply and then I show a lot of the how to build this power supply in some of my other videos. Search for it on my um, channel there. Okay, and a lot of other interesting videos, including ones that YouTube likes to ban. Because uh, I don't know if you guys know, the internet has become under complete censorship. It's not free any longer. And uh, you can't really say too much. It's not uh, completely controlled. So a lot of my videos, I shouldn't say a lot, but many of them, are uh, censored or suppressed. So we'll see how this one does. This should be interesting to see if we get any bubbles in this. Okay. Let that run for overnight, see what happens. Okay, so our um, neutron tritium generator is still running, and I've been checking it, looking down here and uh been looking for bubbles it's still got about four hours left to have the 24 hours on it and it looks like there's already a bubble in the center there i don't want to get the camera too close to that because it's high voltage but we'll let it finish and then we'll take a look at that so things are looking pretty good it looks like it is producing neutrons <clears throat> okay this is very exciting okay so the 24 hours is almost up with our uh fusion generator, or tritium fusion generator. So let's uh, turn down the voltage on this guy. And the capacitors take a little while to wind down. And let's uh, take our neutron detector here. I'll look at it under magnifying glass. Oh, I think I see two bubbles in there. Oh. 
Yeah, I definitely see two bubbles. See that? There's a bubble right about there, and then there's another one on this side. Oh. So, that's about 20... 22, uh, what is that, micro civarts per bubble. So this is about 44. It's about twice as powerful as uh, the beryllium source that I was testing. And definitely, looks like there might almost be a third bubble forming, but I definitely see two bubbles. See that? One, two. Uh. Okay. So, we're going to shut down this experiment, and I'm going to recompress our uh, detector here. We can watch the bubbles go away as I recompress it. Okay. And we'll put it back in the tube to keep it keep it under pressure so it'll stay good longer. And anyway, looks like our uh, tritium neutron generator is a success. And uh, this is Dr. James, and thanks for watching.